Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want my one-on-one -on -one help, visit the description below uh, this video. There's a number of ways that you can get in contact with me to get my personal help. Now, in today's video, I want to share with you guys how you can take your business uh, from zero to 500k per year. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was working with a coach who is based out in the UK. Uh, we did a couple of one-on-one -on -one, uh, sessions. There were there were a few areas in this coach's business that he wanted to make a couple of tweaks and he didn't know how to. So this video is going to be very relevant to some of the struggles that this coach is having and it's going to give you a little bit more clarity on on the four stages of scaling when it comes to running a private football coaching business so again this coach has gone from zero to 500k per per year and he's gone through these these four stages and these were things that we looked at and we made a couple of tweaks so that he his process of growth and scaling became more uh, efficient. So if you're watching this video, you might be at one of these four stages. So this video is going to help you go from stage one to stage two, from stage two to stage three, and then from stage three, how to prepare for the fourth stage, okay? So normally and typically the coaches that I speak to, the coaches that I work with, start off at stage one. So stage one is they are a one coach business. They are the only employee in the business. They are the person that is running all the coaching sessions. So they're doing all the coaching. Uh, they're the only person in the business doing all the admin work. And essentially what they do is they do all the day-to-day -day operations of that business, okay? So typically the coaches that we work with start off at stage one, which is a one coach business. And then we transition them in our business. We help them to transition from that one coach business into now creating a small team. So stage two, of business growth is now building a small team. So a small team could be anywhere between three to four coaches that you start to hire out to now help you with the running of the business. So if we have a look at the, the screen in front, we've got small team, three to four coaches. Uh, you as the, the head coach lead the sessions, but you have assistants that are helping you out. So essentially you are still coaching, but you are leading the sessions and you're having your assistants maybe take different groups at the same time of you coaching. So not only are you leading, leading the coaches, but you're also training your coaches as well. Okay, you're still at the stage where you're you're doing the day-to-day -day operations of the business. And now when we when we get to stage two, now we want to then transition into the third stage, which is the stepping out phase. Now, this is the part, this is the phase, and this is the stage where a lot of coaches now start to struggle with. Okay, so the stepping out stage, uh stepping out phase is stage three of the business growth. Okay. So this is where you still might be working with three to four coaches, but now you're training one of your more experienced or more senior coaches who, uh, who was an assistant. Now you're training them to become a head coach. Okay. So you train another coach in your team to lead the session. So essentially to replace you during the sessions. You still oversee the sessions by the coaches, so you're still present, but you're not coaching now. You're just overseeing that the session is being run the way you want, okay? So you still run coach development sessions, so you're still coaching, you're still training your, your, your team, your staff, but 
when it comes to the actual coaching of the sessions, you're taking a step back and you're observing what your head coach is doing and you're helping that head coach to perfect how they are operating the sessions. Okay, so you're in this stage three, you're still doing all the day-to-day -day operations, but with the only difference is now you have trained someone to become a head coach of your, your sessions, okay? Now, stage four is where the coach that I worked with, who is now at the 500K mark with his business, is currently at. So this is the stage where you're hiring out now 10, you've got 10 plus coaches that are working below you. Okay. So essentially if you're run, if you're hiring out, if you're bringing in and you're recruiting 10 plus coaches means that you're running a lot of sessions per week. Um, you train a coach to lead all your sessions. So it's very similar to third stage, but now you might have two head coaches. Okay. You might have different head coaches for different days of the week. So if, for example, all your sessions were on a Saturday before, but now you've, you've grown so much that now you're offering Monday to Friday, you might have different head coaches for different days of the week. Okay. So you're training now different head coaches. Okay. Now in this stage, very different to the third one where you're still overseeing the session. So you're still present. But at this stage now, you're stepping away from the field. So you're training your head coach to oversee all the other coaches, to create a report on the sessions and to get back to you. And you're, you're having a weekly or a monthly meeting with all your head coaches to have an update on how the sessions are running. Okay. Now, what you can do as well, and this is the stage where if we have a look at the screen in front, I put you train a coach to replace your day to day. So where you are the person that does the essentially you're the head of operations. Now you can train someone to become the head of operations. OK, so not only have you got head coaches that deal more on the field stuff, but you've got now a head of operations that does all the day to day uh, running of the business. So essentially they replace you in terms of the admin work so that this could be talking and communicating to parents. This could be dealing with facilities and venues making sure invoices are paid to the coaches that are working with you and um, making sure that the business is being marketed on a, on a regular basis. They could be in charge of sending out emails to, to customers, right? They do essentially all the admin work and all the, the, the day to day operations of the business. Okay. So you, at this stage, you will have a head coach, that leads all your sessions, as well as you've got a head of operations, which does more of the off-field work and does the admin, um, such as the billing, the dealing with the facilities, uh, venues, the bit, uh, the paying of the coaches, so invoicing of the coaches, et cetera, okay? Now, what your role essentially becomes now in the business is your focus more on the scaling. Okay, so you may have monthly or weekly meetings with your head of operations and your head coaches. And essentially, you are in charge of looking for different ways that you can now help them to get better at their role. But you're looking at more focusing on the, the scaling. So this might be finding investors to invest into your business. This might be buying out an indoor facility or a facility to be able to run all your all your day to day sessions. Instead of having to hire out a venue and lose money, you might now decide to scale the business by finding an indoor facility to run your your day to day sessions, but also offer other services 
to scale the business to the next level. Okay. So if you are a coach watching and you are at any of these four stages with your business and you need more help because you're maybe stuck at one of these stages and you can't get out of that stage, contact me, schedule a call with me, visit description below. Number of ways we can communicate together. You can get my one-on-one -on -one help or you can contact me to to get more help with your training business okay thank you for watching and if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the content that we're putting out thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one